we are going to get started. So you should have a lining piece and a main piece for all of your pattern pieces, except for the, the side cap needs two of each. So two outer, two lining, and then here's your ear flap piece, outer and lining. Here is the front flap, outer and lining, and then the middle cap part, outer and lining. Um, I'm using this super lush, like, a uh, fleecy faux fur kind of situation <laughs> I got from Joanne's a year or two ago. Um, it is going to be making a mess all over my table. I regret every time I buy this stuff, but then I see it and I get excited and I buy it again. So, you know, you can't help it sometimes, right? So we're going to make the main hat piece on both the lining, the lining and the main are gonna be exact, assembled exactly the same. Um, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna start with my main outer piece and you need to find your middle points on both the middle cap so we can align everything properly. And we're gonna do the same thing on this. I'm gonna mark that middle point along the curve and then we're gonna have to right sides together, put it together, but we're gonna have to ease this whole long curve. And it feels a little more difficult at first than it really is, I promise it'll go together great. I just always match up these end points. And you can use pens or clips, however you feel more comfortable. And you just kind of get it to all ease together nicely. So when you sew it, all of your lengths are the exact same length that they're supposed to be. So there's one curve, and then here we're gonna ease this second curve in. I should have started at that corner. See, I'm not even following my own rules. Here we go. Start in this corner and adjust it back out. So it all fits together nicely. And we're going to be sewing this curve here at half inch seam allowance. We've got it all sewn. What I would highly, highly recommend is whenever you're working with a curved edge like this, especially for uh, woven fabrics, to grab a pair of pinking shears and cut, or you could, you know, zigzag trim or put a bunch of V's in it, but pinking shears do a lot of the work for you. Just cut along that curved edge. Don't clip through any of your seam allowance, but when you cut it, it'll allow it to bend a little bit easier. So when you turn it inside out or right side out, it, um, it looks a lot nicer. It acts a lot nicer. <laughs> it's just easier to work with all together. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of the cap. Fold this in half and find our middle point. And this is, I like pins for this portion just because it's easier for me to, you're, you're a little more accurate, but you can use clips too. I'll probably end up using clips when I go to do the, uh, the fleece just because it's so much thicker. It'll hold it together a little bit better. So we're gonna match up these end points. And ease the rest of that curve into it so everything lays nice and tight against itself. Make sure we're doing it with fabrics right sides together. Uh, it's kind of hard sometimes to tell on flannel, so, you know, do the best you can with the, <laughs> the tools that you have. <laughs> and... We are going to, once again, sew along this outer curve at half an inch seam allowance. We've got it sewn. We're just gonna take our pinking shears and cut along that curved edge. So once again, when we turn it right side out, it will play a lot nicer. than if we left that whole big seam 
to kind of be in the way of our nice smooth curves. So here we go. We've got one cap completely finished. And this is when, you, if you want to, you can stick it on your head and check the fit. Uh, there's a pretty decent amount of ease in this pattern. The This is the 22 inch hat and my head is 22 and a half inches and I prefer this size over the 24 inch hat um, just because I like hats a little tighter. But we're gonna be doing the same thing with this guy and I'm not sure what the right side is on this fleece. So, like I said, I like to use clips on thicker fabrics. I think we're gonna call this the right side. When you, and look at this fuzz just coming right off. Eventually, when we get it sewn all loose, it'll just kinda go away, but whew, right now, it's a mess. All right, we're gonna match it at that middle point. And then here we are finding the edge. And we are going to ease all of this fuzziness together. And so at half an inch seam allowance. Here we are, all sewn together, um, and we are going to do the other side. Find the middle points. Ease your curves. And once again, so at half an inch seam allowance around that entire curved edge. We're all sewn together and we're going to go ahead and set our cap pieces aside for right now because we are going to be working on the ear flap part. So you'll just want to take your lining ear flap and <laughs> place it right sides together with your outer piece and we are going to sew this entire section so we're leaving this top open and we're going to be sewing along this whole section and here at half an inch seam allowance now i just want to remind you that when you're sewing at these little corner points make sure you take the full seam allowance so you go up and it feels kind of like you're going past where you're supposed to but it's going to be right you want to go all the way up into here and over and then down and around so clip your pieces together take it over to your machine and get to work We've got it all sewn together. And once again, I would recommend, do you see how we've got all the way up into this corner? That's really where you wanna get it. And I would take a pair of sharp scissors and clip into that corner. Don't go through your seam allowance, but give that sharp corner room to breathe. And then take pinking shears or whatever you wanna use and cut down all of the rest of this bulk so when we're turning those corners, when we're turning it right side out, about to make a fuzz mess, I'm gonna use my regular scissors. When we go to turn it out, it is as clean and neat as possible. Just make sure you're not clipping through any of your stitches because you don't want a hat to come apart. <laughs> Thank you. 
it seems a lot easier to do when you're using typical fabrics, not these like fun furs or they're a little more tricky to work with, but they're called fun for a reason. Am I right? So here we go, trimming it down. And if you want to, having a hard time seeing these stitches, give it a little extra love on the corners. So when you turn it, it is a little better. Okay, got it all clipped. We're just gonna turn it right side out. Make sure you're pushing all those corners over. See, we've got a cleaner edge. If you had left this unclipped, this would be stuck and it would be a real funky little mess. So you really wanna make sure that that part gets clipped more than any. We've got it right side out. And now this is optional, but you can top stitch along the outer edge. Now with fun fur or different fluffier fabrics, it's gonna spill out the sides. That's just the nature of it. And actually with this hat, it's kind of the point. It gives it lots of extra fluff. But yeah, so you can just top stitch with a long straight stitch along the entire edge. All right, we've got it all top stitched and we are ready to take on the front flap then. So it's gonna be very similar to how we did the ear flap. We wanna do right sides together. We're gonna sew, oh, this fuzz. <laughs> We're gonna sew these pieces together, right sides facing each other. We're gonna leave this top edge open and we're just gonna sew along this entire bottom edge with a half inch seam allowance. And just like we did last time, we're going to clip that seam allowance down so it turns a lot smoother and cleaner. Get all that extra out of the way. Just don't clip through your stitches like I almost did. And we're gonna turn it right side out. Press out all those edges and we're going to give it an edge stitch along the front. Do we feel it coming together now? So we're going to take our outer cap piece, our main cap piece, and we're going to align, you know that straight middle part? We're going to match up the seams of both of those, the front and the back, so we can find a front and back because we're gonna be matching other pieces to those specific spots. So find your front and your middle back. And put a pin. And then, now that you have front and middle back, you're gonna be taking your ear flap piece and locating a middle back point on this one as well. And then with right sides together, you're going to align it along the top of your cap piece. So we're gonna have three layers here and you want it to line up all the way until you reach the end of your ear flap. Now, um, it's not going to come all the way around to the front and actually we're gonna put our front flap on too in a similar manner and there's gonna be a small gap between the front flap and the ear flaps. That's intentional. So it shouldn't overlap, it should be just a tiny gap, not huge, probably like a half an inch, I believe is what I left on those, somewhere around there. And we are just going to baste stitch this on, okay? So it's right sides out, or right sides together, sorry. And we are going to baste stitch along this entire back part now. Now we've got that all attached. We are going to do the same thing, but with the front flap. So we already found our middle point for that. And we're going to find our middle point for the front flap. 
Just mark it with a pin or a clip, however you want to do it. Yee. Pins are great, but I also think that for thicker fabrics, clips just make it so much easier. And so we're once again going to match up those middle points that we marked. I'm gonna clip them together. See, there's a little bit of a gap between the front and the back. We're gonna clip it on. And we're going to base stitch this piece as well. It just makes it easier for when we go to attach everything that it's all basted together. All right, front flap is attached, back ear flaps are attached. The last thing we wanna do is get that lining um, hat piece. And so we're gonna do it very similar to um, the rest of our steps. Uh, so you're gonna locate the front and the middle back because we're gonna match all of our seam lines up. And I like to keep this right sides out I'm sorry, I like to keep it with the wrong sides out so your seams are all out on the outside. And we're making a little pocket for our hat that we just created. So we're gonna get it all inside of this hat. So technically we're doing right sides together right now. And it's a little hairy to tell because we've got really fluffy fabric, but you want to align all of your seams everywhere across the whole hat. So here's the inside seam, here's my outer seam. Match it all up. The same on the back here. We've got like a little hat pocket right here. It's almost like a bowl. <laughs> hat bowl. Add a couple extra clips if you want. So we're going to be sewing around the entire, well, almost the entire. We're going to be sewing around most of this hat, but we're going to be leaving a gap so we can turn it right side out. So just leave a small gap in order for us when we flip it, we're able to just, we're gonna hand stitch it together. So leave about two to three inches of an opening and sew the rest of the outside together. We've sewn all the way around except for that opening. And we're just going to birth your hat <laughs> through the opening. Just do it carefully. Try not to pop any stitches. It'll all come out cleanly. Here we go. Beautiful, right? So the last thing that we're gonna do is tuck that seam allowance, put a couple of pins in, and um, you can either hand stitch it or because it's right along the brim where I left that opening, I'm just going to machine stitch it shut. Basically like give it a top stitch right in the front there. So drop a couple of pins which is really difficult to see <laughs> in all this spur and fluff. But I'm going to put a top stitch literally just right here on the brim. We just made a hat together. Isn't that exciting? The last step, and it's only completely optional if you don't want it, you can leave this flopping around so it kind of gives you a little brim. Or you can add a couple buttons to it on the front, or you can just take some, a needle and thread and just tack it down in places so it stays up. I'm gonna just tack it down, uh, literally just hand stitched a couple of stitches right there. Otherwise, we have a brand new hat. It's super cute, super warm, and you know, completely handmade. Hope you enjoyed this. Can't wait to see what you make. Happy holidays, pirates.